What's up guys, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and I want to come at you guys with a different angle than I usually do in my videos and I'm not talking physically like to my left or my right, right? What I'm talking about is a whole different video around financial freedom. Now, if you've watched my videos of the past, you know that there's uh, four levels of financial freedom. You can use active or passive income and at the top of this pyramid is significant amount of income so it's a significance level and we all have different significance level you get to choose yours i'm not going to go into it go back and watch one of the videos where i talk about it however i just got back a couple weeks ago from costa rica i was speaking at an event where i was a guest speaker i kicked off the event for the action academy podcast if you guys haven't listened to it um they're all about financial freedom too i highly encourage you guys to check them out uh, and the owner of that podcast is Brian Lubin. And so he invited me out to speak in Costa Rica around mindset to a group of 40 exclusive real estate investors, people that are looking to go to that next level. It was awesome. We might have a couple pictures here. You could see how epic it was uh, when we were out there. I mean, we were in, we had two mansions, like compounds, $28 million a piece overlooking the ocean. I mean, infinity pool and one and just awesome views of the sunset and another it was epic and what was cool is i got all expenses paid so that was really fun too but most importantly i met some incredible people and so we got there it was a thursday i got there and uh i think we left on sunday and uh can't be away from my family too long but what here's what was cool it was thursday night got in we had the wow factor the sunset the food they flew in a chef from rome to um, to cater food and we ate and it was just a really cool time meeting everyone. The excitement was high. You know, most people are in all of the abundance of wealth. And so anyway, later that night, it was the first game of the NFL season and Thursday night and <clears throat> I wanted to watch the game. Everyone else wanted to go out and paint the town, have fun and check it out. And so I stayed back with one or two people and I met this guy and he was a really cool dude. And we started talking about what he does and what he shared was something that I had very little knowledge or understanding of the massive wealth that could be created. And so what we were talking about and what he shared, the arena or the, um, the area of life that he's operating and playing the game of success in is private equity. And now I know about private equity, but I didn't understand what it can do. And so I just want to share a little bit around what happened that evening and then throughout the rest of the couple of days and why private equity could get you excited about what you're looking to do or where you may be looking to go. Because some of us, you might have big goals. And <clears throat> to be honest, you don't have time. You want to create wealth now, right? You could be in your 50s. You could be in your 60s. And you're like, something's got to shift for me, right? Maybe in your 40s. And so, or maybe you're in your early 20s and you're like, dude, did, I want to take this roadmap and I want to run with him. So here's what happened. We were talking about his, you know, where he came up and how he came up and he was doing sales last year and he was making around three, four hundred thousand dollars a year, somewhere in between there. And he was doing good at sales, but he met someone uh, that talked about private equity and he met a woman named Cody Sanchez. He was trying to pitch her on a deal. Really cool. Um, and it didn't happen, but he got access to her world around buying and selling businesses. Now, some of you might be thinking like, I don't have the money. I don't know how to run a business. Don't worry. We're going to touch on it. And his story will blow you away. And it is a unicorn. This isn't something that's totally common, but it is possible. Um, so I want to share his story because what we're going to do is actually invite him on as a guest speaker for the Millionaire Series and you're going to want to hear his story. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm sharing it from my lens. Okay. But here's what's cool. He was telling me how he started learning about purchasing buildings and or companies. And so he started looking, he started hiring a VA and for three months, they were looking within his buy box. If you don't know what a buy box means, it just means the parameters, like the price, how much EBITDA, and we'll put what EBITDA means here on the bottom of the screen here. And so, um, Anyway, he was looking at that kind of uh, size, location, all that good stuff. And his VA actually, he was under $2 million he was looking to buy a business for. And he actually had his VA bring him an $8 million business with a $2 million EBITDA. 
And what happened was he just, he was like, wow, this is way out of my buy box, you know, four times the amount, 400% more than what he actually was looking at. And let's just say real quick, first thing, he could have easily gotten a mode of fear, a mindset of fear and said, oh, I don't want this. I can't afford this. Like what happens if I don't succeed and just totally push it away. But instead he's like, he had a mindset of, well, what's the, what's the best that could happen, right? So anyway, he started connecting with the owners and over the last couple months, what happened or over the next couple months for them at that time was they got to know each other and started looking over financials and eventually they built a, a relationship so good where towards the end, he was like, look, I don't have this money that's laying around to buy this bu- this business. He's like, but have you ever considered financial uh, seller financing? Now, here's one thing you got to understand. Closed mouths don't get fed, okay? If you don't ask, you shall never receive, right? You have to ask what, like, you know, hey, would you be open to seller financing? If he didn't ask that question and allow fear to rule his mind and his body, he would never have what he has today. And what he has today, I think most of you would probably really want. Um, And so anyway, he asked, they're like, well, we don't know. And uh, tell us more and the reason why they were selling their business was doing um, their business wasn't doing bad. It was profiting nicely. And so what he what they were doing is their other businesses were more successful, but this one was taking more of their time than the other ones. And so they wanted to focus on those and maximize them, which is a smart move. If you're a business owner and you have businesses that are thriving, you want to make sure you actually pour more gas on that than trying to make other ones that aren't as thriving. Doesn't mean that they're failing. It just means that they aren't aren't thriving as much. You wanna pour gas on that other one. So smart on the sellers. So um, so my friend, he was talking to him. He's like, well, look, here's the deal. I'm gonna spend, if I go get a loan for this, I'm gonna give them over the course of the loan over $3 million. What if I give you that $3 million on top of what you're asking? And, they're, and they got their ears perked and they started talking more and he started educating them. So two things here. One, you have to educate a seller or yeah, someone that's selling. You may have to educate them on why it's beneficial. They might not know. Just like in real estate, if you think the only thing you can do is buy a rental property and put a long term tenant in there, you're not going to cash flow as much as you could as if you had a short term rental. Right. You could cash flow way more in a short term rental or a mid term rental. But if you don't know about those strategies, you're going to have to settle. Well, the seller didn't know and he didn't want to settle and take this business over and have to pay, you know, 10 percent, you know, through a small business loan or anything like that. Uh, so he started educating them how they would actually pay less in taxes and how he was able to not only just they would pay less taxes, but they would make more money over the course of the loan. And so he started educating them. Ultimately, they said yes. He's like, well, how long would it take me to understand this business? Because it wasn't in his wheelhouse. And they said, honestly, we could teach you in a day. And so he said, all right. And so they came to an agreement. Fast forward, he started the new, he quit his sales job, started taking over the business. He put some time in the beginning, the first few months, he started taking time to learn and get to know people on his team and the management team and everything pieces that were already in place and areas that he could optimize. And so he went to work for the next few months, capitalized, started improving sales. Now, fast forward, not even a year later, because of debt service, he has to pay the loan, right? Like, so he bought it with zero money down. Isn't that awesome? Zero money down. He took over an $8 million business that was making about $2 million of EBITDA and he doesn't have to pay any money out of his pocket. So anyway, he after debt service, I think he makes over a million dollars a year and he spends about two hours twice a week in meetings and that's it. He has a team in place and he just, you know, gets his uh, information that he needs from his leadership team to make certain decisions or to optimize certain areas. And guess what he's doing? He's now focused on buying that same kind of business across the country. And what he was sharing with me which was really cool that night in Costa, that first night in Costa Rica, it got me really excited. Um, and then the reason why I want to bring him on here is because he's actually buying other businesses. I think he has two uh, that he's looking to close here shortly and a fourth one that has 
LOI on, and I, I think he said he got it accepted. Anyway, what he's doing now is acquiring many of these types of businesses. He's now understanding how to optimize them and make them even more profitable. And what happens in the private equity world uh, from a macro view is he's going to, over the next five years, build out a portfolio of all these companies. He's going to be making millions a year after debt service, right? Totally making a ton of money. However, that's not what he's after. He's not after making a couple million dollars every year. He wants to have a bigger play. And what I learned was that you can sell your whole entire portfolio at a higher multiple. So instead of it being like a four or five X multiple by selling one of his businesses, he could actually sell for 15 to 17 X multiple. And what that's gonna result in based on the numbers and the calculations that he's done is he's gonna exit in anywhere from five to 10 years and he's going to get $1.5 billion. That's his goal. That's his goal, okay? Now, if he only gets a billion, I'm sure he's gonna be pissed and upset and feel like a failure. He's only made a billion dollars, right? <laughs> I'm saying that in playfulness. But here's the cool thing. Um, he didn't have to come out of pocket for any of that first business that really triggered and sparked something. You're one connection. You're one opportunity away from your business or your life or your financial future radically transforming. He literally has to put in less than 10 hours a month in his current business and he can still make a million dollars a year. I mean, how amazing is that? Now, here's what's really cool is it's not just for him. He's actually bringing some really incredible people that were actually at the event in Costa Rica there. I got to meet two amazing women that are on his team, um, but he's actually giving them opportunities to create a better life for themselves. And he's turning around and helping so many people out there in the community. And you know, look, here's what I will say. Life isn't all about money. But what I can say is, there's times when, you know, financial resources are needed. And when you can play life at a bigger level, you can be able to bless more people. That's what I love about what he's doing. And so I will tell you, we're in an era where baby boomers, right? Like these business owners, they're, they're coming to an end of their business season. And they've been doing it for 20, 30 years. And they're, they're not even aware that they could sell their businesses. They just think it's just something that they do. And they have some people on their team, but really they can make some good money. They're making good money, but they could sell it for great money that they can live off of or create payments, right? If they were seller financing, they collect payments for 10, 15, 20, 30 years and just sit back and collect a check the rest of their life. And, but they're shutting their businesses down. And so you have an opportunity. We all have an opportunity now where we can go out and you know purchase those businesses. We can negotiate and find a common ground so that your business, you can put the right people in place. You can have financial freedom and go out and grow even more or to go out and do what you're called to do. Right. You know, some people, they buy businesses so that they can actually have the money so that they can pay their bills and their lifestyle and all that and go enjoy doing what they're called to do. Because look, if if you're called to raise kids and be a kindergarten teacher, which is awesome, my son's in kindergarten, you know, it's like they're not paying, they're not paying a million dollars a year, right? But what if they owned a couple of businesses and they were pulling in $1.5 million a year and they can go and pour into the kids in the next generation, teach them about financial literacy, which is an awesome uh, thing because my son, his school, they actually teach financial literacy. We talk money and um, it's actually really cool. I asked my boy, my oldest, I'm teaching him, I'm say, hey, what do we do? What are we looking for when we buy real estate? He's like, cash flow. I'm like, what's an asset? He's like, it puts money in your pocket. And I say, what's a liability? He's like, it takes money away. It's like just teaching them those cool things around financial literacy. And we get to take them up to our short-term rental in the mountains and go and enjoy that from time to time, especially in the winter. Um, summer's booked out. But they get to see what it's like to play with it and, and actually experience an asset. So anyway, I'm digressing. Let me get back on track. So that's what's cool is you can be able to go out there and bless other people and teach other people what you're doing too. Um, so there's a real opportunity right now, guys. So I would encourage you that um, I'm going to actually have him on and interview him uh, on the Millionaire Series because he has a great unique perspective. He has a great approach. He has a good heart around it. 
Um, and he's just learned for a while and he's actually doing the thing. He's not just thinking about the thing. He's actually doing it. So I want to bring him on to the show. Um, you'll stay tuned for that. But private equity can accelerate your financial freedom, especially that significance level in what we call the 4S pyramid. I mean, literally, he went from three hundred. dollars Four hundred thousand dollars a year to over a million dollars a year, and only putting it in maybe maybe ten hours a week a month. Excuse me. Like, how many of you would do that? Love to do that. I would. And so I'm keeping my ears to the ground for businesses. I've had clients buy businesses, quit their nine to five, and just have more freedom. Now let me put this before we wrap up. It doesn't come without challenges. Every business comes without challenges. I'm sharing with you the cool, fun, delicious part of business. But every business has challenges. Every time that something goes wrong, someone quits, cash flow becomes a challenge, it stinks. You gotta, you might have to jump back in there unless you have an amazing team that can solve those problems for you. And that's the goal, right? So anyway, hope that helps. Private equity can be a way to accelerate financial freedom, give you the life that you're looking for. You just have to have the right, right mindset and you actually have to have the right principles to look for those businesses, the habits to look for those businesses that are profiting and meet your buy box and you have the courage to purchase it. So anyway, we'll have him on the show. I'm really excited for you, but I just wanted to throw that out there because private equity has been on my mind and it is just another component, another tool in the tool belt to generate more wealth. And there's a season for that in my wife and I's life. Um, we'll be buying more businesses in the future. It's just not our primary focus right now. There is a season coming for that. So anyway, all right, guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below. If you this is the first time you heard about private equity, let me know in the comments below because sometimes here's what I will say. Uh, you learn something and you start researching. You're like, well, should I listen to this person or this person? Who's the best out there? I'm going to bring him on there on here so he can share with you firsthand. So if you guys got questions that you'd like to ask, put them in the comments below and we'll make sure that we bring them on. He gets it. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss the millionaire series where we have people who are worth seven, eight, nine figures coming on to the show and actually teaching you, learning their journey, teaching you the things that they do. And so we're diving in. I'm getting numbers. I'm getting words of wisdom from them so that you can take that at me. Right now I'm learning too. We can take that and put it into play in our own lives and help with create more financial freedom, but do life with really cool people. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button. With that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.